What's up everybody? Patrick Jensen here for another uh, lunchtime sketch. Uh, I am super excited to, to do some more with you guys. Um, I had a lot of fun yesterday at lunchtime and maybe we'll just make this a regular thing. Uh, I like doing the noon um, time and uh, so if you're on the west coast feel free to you know grab your lunchbox and come join if you're eating at your desk and you know have nothing else to watch. Um, you know, if all the shows on Netflix are terrible and you're just like, what am I going to watch today? And you want to paint along or whatever. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But, uh, it would be, you know, awesome for you guys to, to hang out and ask questions and, um, um, you know, interact with you guys and stuff. So, um, yeah. So uh, here we go. So today's topic, um, is inspired by one of the, uh, topics over at Daily Spit Paint and, um, they were doing um, Elvish architecture, and so um, so I gave that a try today and had a bit of fun. So I'll show you what I came up with earlier today. Um, nice! And so this is live on Twitch, so if I react to a comment or a, a chat, I'll be sure to uh, say what they said um, if you're watching this later on YouTube. So anyway, someone said, uh, so glad to make it this time. I'm glad you're here too. Uh, I hope you have fun and stuff. So um, it's great to see you. Uh, but yeah, so uh, let's see. So I was doing this sketch earlier this morning. Um, no stream or recording of this one, but um, I'll just walk you through some of the steps uh, of how I got to this. And then we'll do some more along these lines. So it'll be kind of fun. Um, but uh, basically, I was just trying to get some some dark, some mids, some lights, and the hinting of uh, elvish ar architecture back there. Um, and this is just creating more of a more of a foreground um, shapes and trees and buildings and things. Um, flipped it around, worked on it some more, and then I wanted to get a tower back there in the distance. So that's kind of where where my head was at with that. And this was starting to look like a little platform with a entryway or something. So, oh nice, we got a couple more. Hey, what's up? Glad you guys could join. Um, so we're just walking through this one real quick before we start on some new ones. Um, so it falls, kind of darkening the top, adding some, some god rays there. A couple more archways. And then just uh, doing some fog adjustments to help the depth. Couple more pings of light here and there, and brought it home there. So that's the final piece. Um, about a half hour spent on that one, and we will just have some fun making some more of these guys. So let's go ahead and jump to it. All right, let's do this. Um, maybe we'll do okay. And actually, I'm going to darken this background a little bit. Yeah, sounds good. Um, cool. All right, here we go. All right. So I'm thinking about perspective. If I want a down angle, up angle, that kind of thing first. Um, Maybe, oh, okay. Even just doing something like this um, for a ground print, ground plane. And then I lassoed that out, hid the selection, and got something like this. And actually, let's put that on a layer. And I'll show you what we can do with it. All right. So we have this, this guy on a layer, right? And below it, let's just paint some. Uh, darkening of this guy and we'll get a little platform out here cool nice all right what's going on in the background let's get some more stuff back there so all these sketches are going to be Elvish inspired. Um, 
And actually that looks like a little mountain back there, so let's just bring that around. And then have another cliff way back there. We'll make a little bridge or something. So yeah, all these will be kind of elfish um, inspired, which will be kind of fun. So we're using some of the shape language that you guys know already from the Lord of the Rings movies and uh, um, the Hobbit films, of course, and all the great fantasy and uh, illustrations over the years of elves. So yeah, real natural settings, kind of set amongst trees and rocks and things and integrated into the forest. So right now I'm just pulling, pulling shapes and kind of finding where we could go with this. And maybe we just bring this guy up. Someone asked, uh, how do you change your brush so fast? Um, so uh, if you hover over any of these guys on the left here, um, it'll give you the shortcut, the keyboard shortcut. And so I'm just learning all of that. Uh, or, you know, I took took some practice, but I'm using the left hand for um, uh, all those shortcuts, H, B, E. Um, I have a little pro tip for you guys. Uh, you know how you use the brackets um, over on the right to change brush size, right? So uh, if your like, B button is brush on the way left and you're going to the right to do brush size and left, right? I was doing this like back and forth all the time until I changed brush size to A and S. And so it's all kind of handy there. It's like playing, if you were playing World of Warcraft or Starcraft, you'd want everything kind of localized on the left side of the keyboard. So um, I'm changing brush sizes with A and S. I'm doing the hand tool, uh, which is handy, and brush, eraser, smudge. I changed my smudge to R. Um, Z is still zoom. So those are, I'm just cycling through those guys to, to paint takes a little bit getting used to and of course you know try different settings yourself but once you get those down it gets a lot faster and you don't have to worry about changing tools as much or going over here to select something which I, I don't like unless unless it's needed some of those I don't have shortcuts over for over there hey Hello again to you. Glad to see you. Thanks for coming back. All right. <laughs> Starcraft flow pro player. <laughs> Thanks. When you do the initial sketch, uh, do you just pick up random brushes or you pick certain brushes? Um, I have my favorite brushes. Wow, we need to turn that down. <laughs> Thanks for the follow, by the way. Um, so I have a um, my favorite brushes set over here on the tool presets. So um, I'm just kind of hovering between a bunch of those and finding some favorites or using some of those. Let's get some trees off here in the distance. guys are having a good day. Appreciate you guys coming out. Say hi. And see how overall it's kind of even right now. It might help from a little bit or it might help to add some more contrast and so we're going to just do a levels on this thing so we have more to work with. I'm going to invert that 
and then paint it where I want it, which is just kind of in the foreground and stuff here. See so yeah, how that's helping out the depth a little bit more. Oops. Okay, what should we do in the middle here? Let's do... Gotta get that bridge tinier, because it's way out there. Oh, what's gonna help too? Let's do a new window for this document. And you might have seen me do this before, um, just so we can have a zoomed out version um, down here. And take a look at our canvas from afar, which will help. There's a little house over here. Let's get that all the way over. And because it's black and white, sometimes I switch to the burn tool, color dodge or burn, and um, it gets the effects you need to kind of darken an area like I just did. Um, so that's kind of nice. When you're working with color, you might get unexpected colors when you do stuff like that, but it's nice when you're doing black and white, you can kind of use dodge and burn a little bit more than normal. A little more holes in that guy. He's right against the canvas here, but we'll just we'll just bring it off like that. Okay. All right. What's going on in the center here? We need something fun. Let's see. Should we do archway? Oh, well, good. Kind of fun, huh? Let's do a new layer in case we don't like it. This is Elvish, so we can have some fun with that. Maybe there's a little awning that goes this way. A little awning that goes this way. Nice. And actually, let's get a Sharpie. Indicate some things back here. Little walkway back there. Sure. Sounds fun. And this tree we could actually get it to be bigger.
So this brush is fun. Um, under color dynamics, I've got it on foreground or um, right here, pe uh, control pen pressure for the um, for the foreground background. Uh, so what that means is if I have black and white here, um, the lighter I press, the lighter the color is. And then if I press harder, it's going to go to black. Um, so it's going from pressing light to white and then pressing hard to black. So if I switch that, um, it's dark. It's, you know, because it's transparent, you don't see it as much. But the, the harder I push, uh, the whiter it gets. But it's cool when it's like this because you can see like here, the stroke is lighter at the bottom and then darker at the top. It's something I like to use, especially for pulling out arches and, and um, planes like this because um, it adds a little bit of brush dynamics that are kind of interesting or um, value dynamics, I guess. So, okay. If we do something, should we do something here? I don't know, maybe. I'm just playing right now, seeing if we should add something in the center here. Could be just a nice little rock formation, huh? Yeah, okay. We'll get the values working for us here. Um, I just fog that stuff out a little bit more. And actually, that archway a little lit. There we go. And a little light on that guy. Um, we can actually try some. I'm going to see if this will get what I want. Yeah. So we're just working on the values a little bit. And actually, this is way too much foreground. There we go. Yeah. Cool. Nice. This got bigger. And about the background, let's see. Maybe we just bring this guy a little darker. to a place where I'm building something up like this with shapes and, and in mind and I have an idea of what I want but something happens I think I run out of mental reference I noticed from watching the last few days that you do use reference but do you get to a point where that happens and how do you push forward through a block like that so you're talking about how you you're not sure what to paint next um, is that is that kind of what you're asking um, yeah an idea of what you want but you run out of reference or mental reference yeah um, that does happen and um, 
Let me save this. And actually, I can help you with that. Let's do, um, like for example, we'll do, foo -foo -foo. Um, let's just search something. I'll show you an idea of, uh, or something I'm thinking about. Oop, not that, okay. Do, um, I do sometimes just uh, go and check some reference uh, to help me out with some, certain things. Um, the more you paint this kind of thing, uh, you do get better at, uh, actually, let's just go ahead and grab this. Let's see what this is look, looking like. Um, Yeah, the more you do it, uh, you, you kind of remember certain shapes or how things are, are going. Uh, a lot of what I think about is actually top plane, left plane, front plane, bottom plane. As far as drawing cubes or simple shapes, um, you can break it down into, into simple shapes like that and um, think of it that way. Um, come on. Let's load this. Um, uh, I'll show you an example. One second. Uh, trying to find something good with oh, pretty cool. It's HGRI, but that <laughs> that's fine. Just for reference. Okay, so we got this guy here. And let's flip it. Um Cool. So like this kind of cliff stuff going on, um, you know, I, I'm having trouble here. I'm just thinking about how uh, the light's coming from the back. It's like backlit top right. And so I'm thinking of the, the lit edge here with the path and the shadow here. Um, if I needed, if I was kind of stuck of what I could do that's more interesting over here, um, I would, you know, search for ridges or uh, mountains and in this case this looks kind of similar to what I'm trying to achieve back here which is a natural looking rock um, you know uh, stepped kind of thing like that so um, what you could do is just um, when you get stuck um, just pay attention to the light and the the bridge and also these big shapes um, like um, and this is how I kind of analyze references do you have yeah, let's get a bigger brush uh, these guys, these big shapes like this, right? So if this this reference looks too complicated, um, you can just think about think about it like these bigger shapes, or you can think about um, the bigger cracks. If you need to add more recesses of uh, cracks in your in your rocks, um, you can just analyze the the shadow areas. Um, uh, you can think about how this is far, and this comes closer. If this was a topology kind of thing, that makes sense. If you need, if you need help on what should I do with the space and how it comes comes towards you and and stuff like that. Um, so one photo can provide like a lot of different reference for you. Um, so if you get stuck. Like you know you want to paint a ridge or something. Um, so I'm just going to have that down there and kind of inspire some of this of what, what's going on here. Um, you'll see how that can help you. Of course it's not much area to work with, but maybe it goes up like this and there's more stuff up here and even just thinking about smaller highlights like this which helps the scale of this uh, cliff back here and that kind of swooping shadowed areas and we're already getting something that's a little bit more realistic than just that that wall of dark that I was doing before you know is that helpful at all 
hope that's helpful. Um, I guess when you get stuck, check out some photos of what you're doing and try to find some some either shapes or, uh, or analyze certain parts of the photos and you'll you'll get some ideas of how to proceed. And it gets easier the more you do these things. And actually, we could probably do another one because these are going to be nice and rough. Long, vague question. Yeah, no worries. Hope it's helpful. That's good for this one. We can do another one. Oh, forgot the tree trunks here. or something. Oh, thanks for the follow. I um, do have follower notifications set up so it pops on the screen. For some reason it's not working just yet, so um, I thought that'd be fun. Obviously, it's not quite there yet. I get the little notification down here on my phone, but not on the screen, it looks like, so that'll be fun someday. Okay, I think, I think we're good with this one. Let's do another one. All right, so that's thumb number two. Close that reference. And... 
put that guy down there. And let's do another one. All right. Something that's fun to do. Grab some uh, some values and things. And let's just uh, play with this a little bit. And we'll blur it. Uh, maybe we'll do motion blur. Just to get the, the piece started a little bit. And let's do straight. Um, no, I'm thinking. Let's see, someone asked, when I'm doing a painting, I often get stuck when I want to add some people or a creature in it. I mean, like the painting you have done with the T-Rex. Oh yeah, how do you insert them? Um, depends on the piece. Um, sometimes it's helpful helpful for scale, just to grab, a, put a simple guy in there. Um, uh, you can either, uh, let's see, even just a head, and get like a simple, this can read as a guy, you know? Um, oh, I don't have them on a separate layer, but um, just think about head, torso, two legs. To get the scale, you can always kind of shape it and refine it or, or sketch it out later. Um, if you're doing a piece and you need to, to get, you know, something going, feel free to, to sketch it out. But um, um, it just kind of practice painting people and creatures and um, pulling up movies that you like and sketching those or um, finding photographs of people and stuff and um, it'll get easier to put them in your paintings. You can do them at the beginning or at the end or in the middle. Uh, it actually doesn't matter um, uh, unless because you can you can always tweak it to to make it suit what you want to do is or like tell a story or um, that kind of stuff. So. I hope that makes sense, I don't know. Oh man, okay, let's see, what if we do, okay. Just doing that, I'm like, oh man, what if, what if we're in like a little council room or something? And the idea of these is is to create fun little uh, thumbnails for paintings that you could do more refined works of, or you know, we're just having fun, kind of come on, coming up with. Okay, what if uh, compositions and and locations with an elvish theme? That's kind of what we're doing. So if you're just joining us, uh, maybe there's a little staircase. Uh, let's see. Be cool to see it up here. As it goes that way. Maybe we'll just see out here and see the trees and stuff. Oh no, feel free to ask questions. <laughs> Please. Yeah, I'm happy to, to try to answer them. And if I stumble on certain things, it's just because there's so many ways to do this stuff. Um, so I'm just providing one one kind of thought on it. Um, so yeah, but feel free ask ask as much as you want. That's why I'm doing this. Say hey to you guys and interact. What if there's a hole in the middle? That'd be cool. If you were trying to get an idea out to a client without committing too much to a piece, would you show something like these to get the conversation started? Absolutely, yeah, it's a very good question. Um, this would be like, um, these. these would be if if the client was like, hey, can you make some outdoor courtyards for uh, this elvish uh, town or, or city? Um, uh, we need a couple different locations and maybe they don't have 
things settled yet of like where they're going to go or what, what we want to see in those environments. Um, but, um, you know, it's just kind of along those lines. Um, or like maybe this one's, you know, we need a council chamber, um, kind of interior out, but you can see outside. They, they might have a little brief for you um, of what they want in the image um, or what needs to take place, that kind of thing. Um, so yes, these, these quick sketches are perfect because um, you can just show them quick, quick little studies and they can get their eyes on it and um, give you thoughts to proceed before you would do a more final piece. And actually this would be enough to get a sense of it and you can explain that how uh, there's a little staircase back here or even indicate it but um, oh, they need to get in here somehow maybe they come down the stairs or they enter from the right here maybe they have options or they come around the corner like this you know so yeah but I've done this in the past where I'll sketch up a couple ideas and options and then get get their eyes on it and see what they think yeah you bet okay and we got this kind of dome going what if there's like a tree in the middle or something that'd be kind of fun let's do a new layer whoa Could be too big, but we'll, we'll see. It's such a calming stream. Awesome. Well, thanks for coming out and saying, hey, I'm glad it's glad it's relaxing for you. If you're on the West Coast and having lunch, awesome. I'm really enjoying this kind of noon slot. Um, I'll be back here tomorrow if you're on the Pacific Coast or if you're on the East Coast or across the world having a little snack. That's, uh, that's good too. <laughs> where are you guys from? I always like hearing, hearing where you guys are from. Italy, awesome. Wow. England, sweet. Do I sometimes make more detailed prints, paints? Uh, yes. Um, I do. So if you go to my my way, my main website, um, this is where you can see 
what you can work on or what happens when you spend a lot more time. Uh, these streams are fun because I get to do more sketchier work with you guys. Um, but if you want to see more finished work that I've done, uh, check out metavisuals.com and uh, you can see some of my more finished uh, work and stuff. Um, a lot of my personal work is more sketchy because um, I do them on lunch breaks like this one um, and stuff like that. So we have uh, metavisuals.com with all the kind of polished professional work and then metavisuals.live which is all these live streams and stuff and so that's why these are a lot more sketchier and, and kind of fun because um, I'm only doing them in an hour or half hour or uh, two hours, whatever, whatever, however long I'm on online here on Twitch. So, yeah. It'd be fun to do... Um, I think this is good for this one. It'd be fun to do a multi-day stream to show you the whole process, you know? Um, but... Uh, um, yeah, I just don't know how interesting it'd be to to noodle a piece to death <laughs> with you guys, but uh, I could um, think about that for sure. You worked on the Book of Life and the Walking Dead, Michonne. Yes, I did. Yeah. All right. Let's see what else we can do. You know, it'd be fun too. Let's get our like. Um... Just gonna select a couple brushes I haven't used in a while. Let's see what happens. I saw in the past video that used the smudge tool a lot. I tried it with a soft round brush, but it makes a strange effect. Yeah, um, that strange effect might be if you have finger painting checked. Um, it adds, I, you know, I'm not sure, but um, something that I run into a lot is if my if finger painting's checked, it actually um, adds a bit of paint as you as you put it down. So, um, see, like this, if I want to smudge, it adds that gray right there before I go. Um, you know, sometimes you don't notice it, but there's a little pop of color. So just make sure that's off and then you get, you get what you want, uh, which is just, just smudging. Hope that helps. You're doing the stream to your lunch break and then you go back to work. Um, yes. <laughs> um, I'm currently freelancing, um, from, from home. So I'm able to do this, uh, during lunch right now. So after the, the lunchtime hour or two, I'll go back to, to freelancing from, from here. Um, yeah. But I'm, I'm using this uh, Kang Lee smudge. Um, you could probably find his brush set. And it's real nice because you get that kind of vertical um, smudging going on. Um, so that's a, that's a favorite of mine. Let's go back down to these trees here. Got a few here. We got leaves. Which one's that? Oh, nice. These guys are too big, but that's okay. Never stop practicing. That's right. Um, let's see, got a few tree brushes to help us out a little bit. Way down here, let's see. Oh, there they are. Yeah, see that guy, huh? Well, that's kind of a spattery one. That's fine. Something to get some texture going. So this could be a little alcove area. With a bridge, ooh, a bridge back here. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Um, we could do. Actually, 
see. What do you do for fun outside of painting, of course, like a hobby? Um, great question. I like to uh, play video games, actually. Um, I'm still playing Destiny quite a bit. Um, I have a 308, 308, 306, Hunter, um, level 40, of course. <laughs> I also uh, play piano. That's probably why I got so fast on the on the shortcuts. I grew up playing the piano, and so switched to the visual arts in high school, actually. I'm noticing on this. Um, this foreground cypress tree is cool, um, but this is getting way too black over here. So I'm just gonna, as far as um, helping out with our stepping back in depth with atmosphere, which is handy for black and white sketches like this, um, especially along this theme, which is the elvish kind of you know, um, foresty village areas and stuff. So um, there would tend to be a lot more moisture in the air and fog and stuff and that's always fun to paint um, so we're gonna get some more fog in there and darken this up get something like that hey Knox how you doing I remember you Let's get lighter. Cool. Give Division a try. You would appreciate the environments. Oh, yeah. I would love to play that game. You did an awesome job.
Oh, no worries. I'm glad you're able to make it this time. <laughs> yeah, if you guys ever missed the previous ones, you can check them out on YouTube. I'll always post them in the afternoon after a stream. Is it better to do freelance for you? For me, it is good that I can organize my time, but for a long time, long-term project, it is a bit annoying to be still at home. Do you sometimes work as an employee? Um, so the first question, is it better to do freelance? Um, for me, for you, okay. Yeah, um, it's it all depends on the person, of course, and I enjoy both, actually, and I've done both. Uh, so um, I've worked for a few few studios in the past and um, also done freelance from home. I don't know if I have a preference. Just getting to do this for a living is awesome. Uh, painting and doing what I love, so I'm very lucky for that. So however I'm able to do that, of course, it's just wonderful. So uh, no preference. It is nice in a studio to be able to walk over to your coworker and ask questions and stuff or get inspired by the guy next to you. That happens a lot more frequently uh, when you're in a studio. Um, but of course, online, you can interact with people too and stuff. So you, you can, uh, you know, there's pros and cons to each, I guess. That's what I'm saying. Let's get my liner brush. <laughs> How'd you get your first job in the studio? Um, I went to college at Ringling College of Art and Design, and um, they have a wonderful uh, career services department that is all about trying to um, have studios come and, and look at your work, and you can show your portfolio. And, and um, so I was, I was uh, DreamWorks actually came to, to um, Ringling uh, when I graduated, and and I showed them my work and they, they had a job opening and and so I started working for DreamWorks Animation right right uh, about a month out of school so I was, I was very lucky there. Okay, I think this is good for this one. This would be just kind of, you can, or figuring out um, a path for a player or something, or maybe you need just a little, um, this could spark ideas for other things to do. But there's, you know, I don't need to noodle this thing because it, it's kind of, well, it's clear enough of what's going on in this piece to if I needed to show this to somebody and be like, hey, what do you think? Should I keep going with this or? Maybe there's a little statue here or something. We'll just do that and then we'll move on to a new one. A little cloaked figure or something. Actually, that's fine. All right, we'll go on to a new one.
<laughs> That's fine. Oops. All right. What are we gonna do here? Let's get like. Um, Thinking, thinking, thinking. Let's get the canvas a little bit in that medium value. And Oh, thanks for the follow. Bacon gun. That's a good good username. <laughs> Sure what I'm doing up here, but there will be archways. I guarantee that. Hey, thanks. <laughs> oh, nice entertainment station. Thanks, man. Poor woman. And you stream you're amazing oh thank you um i'm doing uh, about four times a week um and i'm really liking this like lunchtime slot so 12 noon pacific standard time i will be here most days watching other people make some cool art might actually get me back into drawing awesome do you have a brush pack you use or do you make your own? Um, these are about half mine and half other people's. Um, just searching for like uh, concept art brushes, Photoshop brushes, you can find a ton out there. Um, the ones that I've made myself um, are usually made for a specific reason or I'll try someone's brush and, and then modify it so it feels a little bit better for what I want to do. Um, that kind of thing. So. It's a mixture. Um, yeah, I do. I am working on. I will get those these brushes available for you guys, but they're not quite ready yet. I just need to kind of organize them. I don't want to give you this whole mess, you know. So I just. Uh, uh, it's uh, someday. I'll let you guys know. Oh, thanks. Got 20 watchers right now. It's awesome. Let's see. Let's do something about back here. Actually, uh, well, I don't know thinking about this one. Let's just finish this guy up a little bit. Oh, you know what?
Are you going to do some tutorials too? Um, yes, uh, time permitting. Um, I'm going to see how the streaming works out because I really enjoy painting live for you guys instead of recording something and then um, editing it together and making like a tutorial and selling that or putting that up. Um, there's a lot more time involved doing that. Um, so I'm really enjoying the, the live format right now, but maybe we'll make a, maybe I'll do some tutorials at some point. But what's cool is if you guys tell me like uh, what you're, um, I guess, wanting to know um, or areas uh, painting in Photoshop or, or um, how to do visual development, that kind of stuff. If you have some uh, big, big questions along those lines, um, feel free to shout them out. And then if I can fit them into, you know, this kind of format, I'd be happy to do an episode on, on a certain topic um, like that. So, yeah. Everyone posts one robot drawing a day. No skill level required. Fun exercises. Oh, nice. I didn't know about that. Yeah, definitely check that out. Okay, I think... I think this one's good. I'm gonna try a different one. I was gonna make this a tall little kind of uh, palace or something, but eh, I'm not liking it. So we'll just uh, do a new one soon. <laughs> it's fun to try though. I'll do a new one. <laughs> so the goal today is to just kind of have some fun doing these thumbnail sketches, um, which we could turn into fun paintings later, or different um, different paintings. But uh, just want to show you guys how to do these kind of black and white things. You know. Where are we gonna go next? Let's see. You guys can chat out cool little areas along these Elvish lines um, that you want to see, and we can we can have some fun too. You get stuck polishing and getting to the finish line sometimes. Watching helps to watch people do it and not speed painting. Yeah, definitely. Um, I will break down. Uh, uh, there's like a few of the videos on my YouTube, um, you can check out, um, oh, nice. Yeah. There's a few videos on the, on my channel, um, that kind of break down the PSD and show how, how it took to go to final. Um, yeah, we'll, uh, that'd be fun to, to show here on the stream sometime. You can check some of those out in the meantime. Yeah. You know what? Let's bring in um Let's bring in a take uh, photo, get things going. Actually, even just this one's fine.
Yeah, sure. Mars elves. <laughs> Has that been done? Look like in space. Whoa. That's cool. Yeah, we could do that. Elves in space. Do you want to see what that? Let's try that. <laughs> what we could do is just make sure we have. Um, Cloudscape going. Um. Get a little planet out there just to help get the vibe going. We'll get the architecture going in a second. Just laying in some rooftops and stuff and then I'll I'll figure it out later. I'm just playing with the space right now and kind of seeing where we could go with this. But some kind of bridge here. <laughs> nice. It's just like an icy castle or something, or like a meteor castle. A meteor? I don't know. You know what I mean. <laughs> yeah. 
rocky landscape here. Too, too hot with all this stuff so just make a darken layer and then I can like select this gray and just bring things down a little bit cool and actually that background's kind of fun but let's give it a little bit more contrast I'm just looking right here so I'll invert that and then paint that back. there or something. That's good enough. Okay, we'll keep going on this, uh, whatever this thing is. Let's see. Um, you know what we could do is just, um, let's just hit it with some or something and then we can uh, go on a color dodge brush Maybe this is a little fire or something nice actually if we do a hard light we can get a little bloom on these guys. Add a little bit of color. I know it's a black and white piece, but get these torches to kind of glow a little bit. Yeah. Okay, cool. Keep going. So I didn't know there would be like a little opening there and a bridge. This is just kind of playing with the forms and seeing, oh, that kind of looks like a little ledge. And then, you know, build it out a little bit more. Um, maybe it comes around. And because it's doing that, this is getting a little too bright if it's going to do that. So I'll darken this up. And then maybe the light's just hitting it here um, as it turns around. So it's thinking about the forms and stuff. To, to shape this little this little pathway around, you know. Um, 
it's kind of just taking inspiration from these random strokes and then pulling it together a little bit. And then I guess we'll connect this. Yeah. And then we'll have a little ledge down here to help with the perspective. And then we can carve this out a little bit. That was a fun one. Good suggestion. Who was that? <laughs> Mr. Puma Pants. Do you have birds? Oh, <laughs> do you hear the birds? <laughs> yeah, there's the window's open. There's birds outside. I hope it's not too annoying. I'm not sure if it picks up only with uh, when I talk or if it's all the time. Still kind of dialing in the mic, so yeah. Okay. <laughs> only true environment artists paint with birds in the background. That's right. <laughs> Awesome. Oh, I'm glad you guys like this one. I'm liking it too. Super fun. I call it on this one as far as like sketching the idea of it. I think it's getting there. Oh, we forgot stars. Stars are good. Let's see. Let's see if I can quickly find. Otherwise, we'll just ping some. Well, that's my. Ashes brush, but that works. Star brush. There we go. <laughs> nice. <laughs> cool. It's fun. <laughs> Maybe there's some birds. Actually, we'll just sharpen the whole thing. Oh, thanks for the thanks for the follow, Rehorner. There we go. Elvish architecture uh, in on Mars. That's what that is. <laughs> we would just add a little bit of. A 
little bit more of that guy, of that Art Nouveau. That's good. That was a fun one. Nice. Thanks for the suggestion. Are these images going to be uploaded somewhere? Yes. Um, they'll, 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 uh, can't talk right now. I'll put them up on metavisuals.live afterwards. Um, so if you go there, this is us right now, March 9. Um, this was yesterday, so I'll make one of these um, little blog posts uh, with the sketches um, this afternoon. So uh, these were the ones from yesterday. Uh, we were taking some photos and having fun. Um, and the whole video is right here for you. So um, I'll just keep posting the images up on here afterwards. Yeah. See, maybe we could do one more. We've been going for about an hour and a half now. Um, so we'll do one more. And then we'll uh, call it a day. So let's see. Actually, that's fine. I saved that. Cool. Thanks for doing it. It's crazy how fast you get it flushed out. Oh, thanks. Hey, Gray. Oh, man. It's good to see you, dude. I used to work with that guy. He's awesome. Oh, thanks for coming out, man. <laughs> All right, that's awesome. Thank you very much. It's this has been this has been a fun topic today. Just doing doing some Elvish stuff. Let's see what we could do with this one. Could do another space one, because that was a lot of fun. What's cool is the architecture can get crazy because the rules are different. Do you want to turn on sticky keys? No. Thank you, though. <laughs> so we got this kind of step up going on. And I'm liking this kind of... Uh, idea that maybe there's just... Um, this kind of rock formation that's flanking the, the steps here. So we'll see what, what happens with this one. And then we'll try to add some spacey elements to it.
Let's do a new layer in case we don't like it. And what if? And actually, we can. Oh, let's go this way. And mask that guy. And bring back our path. Let's make a new layer. guy coming in. Wyrex is following me. Hey, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Vitus, thanks, man. <laughs> uh, I'm sure having fun doing this with you guys. What do we had? Eighty nine. Maybe it's not updating. Actually, this is good for now, for a thumbnail. I think I might do another one, maybe. That was pretty fast. Just kind of a fun, cool uh, entrance to this guy. Oh, you know what I need? Got to run to a meeting. Oh man, I'm glad you made it though. I'll see. I hope to see you next time, man. Thanks. <laughs> oh, good. You're learning fast, Wyrix. Awesome. Okay, let's call it on that one.
guess the main thing I wanted to show you playing with the, the different value ranges, but then running with those happy accidents that happen, um, turning brush strokes into forms and stuff, um, is a great way to explore a space and, and see what you could do with it. Um, so what this one's all about. Quick drink of water. Oh, thank you, Hippo. You guys are awesome. fun with that rake brush. Let me just see. Mm. So right now, oh, let's see. I feel like that, like that is the artist white dragon where you get something so fast with not as much effort and it happens and there's no formula or explanation and vice versa when something takes forever and is a strain on the brain. Oh, that was the sixth, not seventh. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Six, seven. Oh no, I got I got seven here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Where'd the seventh one go? Oh, it's behind here. No, this one. Oh, you know what? It's right here. Oops. Sorry. Right there. I didn't like that one, so I covered it up. Um. Yeah, the more the more you do these, uh, the faster it gets at at being able to be open to making mistakes and kind of seeing, letting those happy accidents happen, and and then making something from it, it gets easier the more you do it. Oh yeah, totally. Someone said uh, sometimes when I sketch, I get a great fast piece that looks good. And then some other days you don't. Yeah, I get that all the time. And that's why doing multiple ones is sometimes helpful. I almost like know it's about trusting that process, right? Um, oftentimes I'll do a load of garbage before I do anything that's worth showing to anybody. Um, it's tricky when it's live because I could have one of those days and you know, but I don't mind. You guys understand, I think. Um, so, but like this one, I like what we were doing in these, these, this one a lot better. And it took us a little bit to get there. You know what I mean? Um, so you never know what, uh, or like, yeah, it's, it's, it's rare that every piece you do is awesome. I don't know if there's anybody that does that. I should say, you know, it might start out like garbage, but you can you can work with it and get it to a place where it's good. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't know what I'm doing here. I should. What am I doing? <laughs> I was thinking, like going through here, like a little window area. It's kind of cool, right? I don't know. We're just playing. We're just playing. It's kind of nice though. Maybe it's a little shop or something. Ooh, a shop. And you go in, there's like... Road to a jungle, yeah. Kind of does look like that.
Yes, Susanna, definitely. It's a part of the process. Just start starting somewhere and working with it until it gets to be something. This, this could actually be just overgrown with stuff. Um, let's do this one. And actually, that's fine. And we're doing just black and white today, but it'd be fun to take some of these to color. So then we'll do that next time. Um, Sometimes color dodge, color dodge, color dodge uh, is too strong. So sometimes I'll use linear dodge, which seems to not be as harsh. Sometimes. This one could be at night or something. And having the the interiors be a little bit more lit. We'll just darken this so we can add a torch to either side here. Cool. Color dodge. And then Make a new layer, set that to hard light, and we can just kind of yeah, it's harder with black and white, but that's okay. Never mind about that, it works better with color. I'll just make it read. Mm -hmm. Getting quite 
quiet. This is the last one, I think, guys. This has sure been fun, though. I hope you were enjoying it. You guys had some good questions today, and I like the suggestions of doing uh, Elfish stuff in space. That, that one turned out really cool. So however you'd like, uh, feel free to follow here on Twitch, and you'll You'll be notified when the next one is, or um, follow me on Twitter or Facebook, whatever, whatever you like. Um, Germany time. Ah, oh, thanks for thanks for checking this out. Okay, sounds good. Yeah, feel free to catch up on the old stuff. Hope to see you next time. I'd love to go to Germany. It's on the to-do list. noodle in this one too much I don't even know where it's going anymore it's good enough good enough donkey we will just call it a day on that one boom oh that was fun guys thumb number eight cool sweet So we started the morning with this one to kind of get warmed up. Um, I didn't uh, didn't record this one, but we kind of stepped through it at the beginning of the video, which is super fun. And um, and then we let's see that's that one. We did something like this one. Had a little uh, courtyard going back and started playing with the, the bridge and the little buildings in the background. Um, yeah. That one, that one. Let's see, I think we did this one next. Look at the file names. Nice little courtyard area or a council room um, with a little staircase going back over there. Um, that would be a fun one to kind of play with what's going on in the architecture up here and stuff in the rafters rather and get a lot of cool design shapes and stuff um yeah we had this one nice peaceful outdoor garden area perhaps that was kind of fun little statue nice place to take a walk like an arboretum or something we had a space one man this one was fun Cool little bridge going going into the, the big rock structure. Playing in the background. Fires back there. That was a cool one. That was a suggest suggestion by Mr. Puma Pants. Great suggestion. Then we have this guy. This archway here. Oh, this one's fun too. I like how this one came out. A little bit more graphic. Um, that kind of gnarly entryway. Going up to the palace. We had some cool stuff today. And this this uh, this one didn't quite work out, so that's okay. 
<laughs> yeah, so thanks for joining me, guys. I really appreciate it. I really appreciate it, guys. Uh, feel free to subscribe or follow or share. It's super helpful. If you know anybody that uh, would have enjoyed seeing this kind of process, um, you know, it really helps to kind of pass it along and stuff. So um, I will be posting everything uh, to metavisuals.live uh, this afternoon. So it'll show up as a past broadcast right here um, for March 9 today. And um, you'll be able to see the recording and the uh, finished images and stuff. Um, and uh, last little thing, if you want to throw a couple bucks my way, there's you certainly don't have to. There's You can watch these for free on YouTube, see it live here on Twitch. But uh, if you feel so inclined and you got something out of this and um, you can throw a few bucks to me uh, with PayPal through that link. Uh, sure, appreciate it. Not necessary, but uh, it makes me be able to do these more often for you guys and stuff. So I sure appreciate it. Uh, feel free to connect on Twitter, Facebook, and uh, yeah, this was awesome. Thank you guys so much. Um, and uh, yeah, take it easy. See you next time.